Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another marathon clean with me. If you guys are not familiar with what a clean with me marathon is, it is something that my husband actually came up with about a year ago or so and I have been sharing them ever since. So basically I have just compiled several of my previous cleaning videos all into one video so that you can just turn it on, put it up on your TV or on your tablet or your phone and just clean right along with me without having to worry about clicking onto other videos or anything. It is everything you need to have a really good clean session and get everything done that you need to. So I hope that this gives you all the motivation that you are needing today. And before we get started, I would love to hear how long you have been a part of the This Crazy Life family. Let me know if you have been here from the start. If you are just now subscribing, just let me know in the comments and I would love to welcome you to the family if you are new. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I wanna hear you say it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be tackling my whole house and we are going to be getting this whole place cleaned up and looking really nice and just creating a peaceful space for everyone to enjoy living in. And I figured I would take you guys along with me on this day just to give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation. Like I said, I am going to be cleaning my house from top to bottom. I think I ended up cleaning every single room, so this video is so packed full of tons and tons of motivation for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy, and let me know in the comments if you guys end up cleaning along with me today or just getting some motivation to save for later. As you can see, I'm just starting out in my bedroom and getting our bed made for the day and just kind of changing out the sheets. I usually change our sheets out about once a week and this is something that is just one of my favorite things. I feel like climbing into fresh sheets is such an amazing feeling. It's definitely one of my favorite little things in life. Since Kyle and I had just recently gotten back from New York, we had a ton of laundry to get caught up on. We had sheets and our clothes and the boys' clothes and just kind of everything that we had to wash or dry or put away. So that's what I'm tackling right here and just getting all of that laundry started.
The next thing on my list was to unpack both of our suitcases. I don't know what it is about it, but there's something about unpacking a suitcase that I really dread doing, so I try to put it off. But I've actually started making myself unpack our suitcases within the first day or two of being home. And let me tell you, it has made the biggest difference. It just feels like a huge weight is lifted when you don't have that suitcase just kind of hanging over your head, waiting for you on the floor all the time. You're constantly having to pull clothes out of it and things out of it. So getting that suitcase unpacked right away really helps create a peaceful state of mind and I just think it is so worth it. So if you have gone on a vacation recently or if you're heading out on a trip soon, I challenge you to unpack within one or two days of getting home and I guarantee you will be so happy that you did that. I've mentioned this a few times before, but I like to kind of mention it every now and then just because I do get comments on it still. But when I have to hang up a bunch of clothes all at once, I will lay them all flat on top of each other and then just slide the hangers in like I'm doing here. And it makes the whole process go a lot faster. And anything that makes laundry go faster is such a win in my book. So I know that y'all have been watching this only for a few minutes, but the process of putting all of that laundry away took so, so long. On top of me having to actually stop for mom life, I know that wasn't always in the clips. It just kind of depends on if I leave that in or not, but that definitely wasn't just one solid piece of time. It really just took me like over an hour to do all of that because the kids kept coming in or I would just get sidetracked on something. But once I had that bed all cleared off, it really did feel so good and like a huge weight was lifted. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes And you can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark So by this time Kyle had actually gotten home and I just had him kind of help me move a few things out of the hallway in here. This tends to be a drop zone for us recently, just kind of out of the way, it's near the laundry room and the garage and so it's easy to kind of set things out there without having to feel like they're in our way. So I wanted to just kind of clear that area out and then I could actually go back in and clean the floors a little bit later. I can carry all that you've got to heavy hearts is not a lot. I will put out a Moving into the master bathroom, as you can see, I had a ton of things out on my counter. I don't even know what all was out on my counter. Pretty much everything I own, I feel it was just so cluttered and so messy. And as you will see in just a second, I forgot to zip up my makeup bag and everything fell out of it when I picked it up. So all I could do is laugh it off, but 
Oh my gosh. Now, because I am doing a whole house clean, I was not going to be doing a really super deep clean in most areas, just because that would really take me the entire day. And so a lot of this is just kind of maintenance clean and tidying up and then just kind of lightly cleaning the areas. So I'm not using my disinfectant spray today on the countertops, but instead I'm just using my disposable wipes. And these are something that just kind of saves my sanity a lot of times when I know that I don't have time to actually get out my spray and all my rags and everything. I can just do a really quick wipe down, get everything clean, and not have to spend a whole ton of time doing it. So give me something to do, yeah I can't stay here because I need to dance Jump, jump around and show them how I move Uh, uh, oh, uh Everybody will be on me Wanna join me when I take a shot Since I already had my e-cloths out, I just came out to my bedroom and started wiping down my mirror. And as you can see right here, I actually just got a splinter from my mirror. It wasn't a really bad one, but it definitely kind of startled me. But on my mirror, I'm just using my general purpose cloth and my glass and polishing cloth. And I do have a coupon code in the description box in case if you are interested in checking them out. But I love my e-cloths. I rave about them all the time. They are so amazing. I'm gonna find a so I can put it on. Once I got my bedroom cleaned up and all of that laundry put away and also my bathroom cleaned up, I came up to the living room with the boys and I just started tidying up. I also wanted to include them in this because as you can see, when you look on the floor and you look on the couch, a lot of this, if not all of these things, are actually things from the boys. And so I wanted to make sure that they were included in this cleanup process. And as you'll see in just a second, the boys had actually moved my pillow to make a pillow fort under the kitchen table. So we needed to get all of my throw pillows up on the couch. I try to keep them up on the couch. I kind of joke with them a lot and I tell them the throw pillows are like my heart. So when you throw the throw pillows on the ground, it's like you're throwing my heart on the ground and we all have a good laugh, but they really do know that I love to kind of keep my throw pillows nice. And as I was editing this, this part got me laughing so hard because you will see Luke literally chuck my throw pillow into the other room. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know what it is about throw pillows and boys or kids in general, but they just love to not keep them on the couch and it drives me a little bit nuts. Never up, never down, never 
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool While I was clearing off the counter, I had Liam come in and start unloading the dishwasher. They didn't have the chance to get that done earlier in the day, so I just had them start doing that now because this is usually a chore that they do every single day. While I was helping Liam unload the dishwasher and just kind of put some of the things up high, I had Luke take out the recycling. This is another one of their jobs. This is not their actual chore that is on their chore chart, but it's just something that I usually have the boys help out with because it's really easy for them and it just kind of takes an extra task off of me. So I usually get them to help out with things like this. Once I had all the dishes in the dishwasher, I just went and started hand washing the rest of the dishes that weren't able to go in the dishwasher. And I have been using the fall acorn scent soap recently and I have just been loving it. I feel like it's just been bringing the fall vibes into our house a little bit more. And I've said this so many times, but when you find a cleaning product that smells really good, it really makes a huge difference and it makes you enjoy cleaning a bit more. It might not make you love cleaning, but it definitely makes the experience not so bad and something that you don't really mind doing as much. So if you have not found your favorite cleaning product, the one that just makes you enjoy it, the one that you enjoy smelling, then I suggest you try to find one because it really does make a big difference.
special, one of a kind, one of the better boys. I'm on your level, that's what you say. But all I hear is noise. I don't have time for trying my luck. I've been too hurt before. You're not that special. Just give it up. I think I've had enough. I'm too busy loving my friends. I ain't got no love to spare for you. I'ma be that girl to the end. It don't really matter what you do. Guess I have to tell you again. Cause you haven't got the news. Oh, you really need to understand that I don't wanna be your I've gotten some comments about my chairs recently from you guys just asking how they've been holding up with the pain and also asking if I've been having to clean them a lot more and they have held up incredibly well and honestly I feel like I'm cleaning them even less because the paint really only shows like dirt and things like that and it doesn't show like any oils from fingerprints and so I feel like I'm cleaning them a lot less which has been really really nice but I always love hearing your guys' thoughts on things so let me know if you guys like how the chairs turned out with the white or if you ended up liking them how they were before when they were just all wood. So give it up, haven't you had enough? I'm too busy loving my friends. I ain't got no love to spare for you. I'm a bitter girl to the end. It don't really matter what you do. Guess I have to tell you again. Cause you haven't got the news. Or you really need to understand. That I don't wanna be your If you guys are ready to see some magic happen, I am going to get this messy fingerprint ridden fridge so shiny and looking so good. And I am just using my favorite e-cloths again, the same ones that I used on my mirror in the bathroom. If you guys have been with me for a really long time, you know that I have searched high and low for a really good stainless steel cleaner. And these have been my favorite, hands down. They are so amazing. And I love that all you have to do is clean with water. Seriously, if you have not jumped on the e-cloth bandwagon yet, Go ahead and do it. You guys can thank me later. You had to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? Won't you all night long? Tell me what you had to go and drive me so crazy. Finally, we are to the point where I'm vacuuming the floors. I feel like once I start vacuuming the floors, it just makes me really happy because I don't usually vacuum the floors until everything else is clean. And so to me, that kind of signifies, hey, you are getting close, you're almost done. And it's just one of the very last things I do. The last thing I'm doing down on our main floor is just mopping 
and I'm using my favorite mop of all time. It is the E-Cloth Spray Mop. As you guys know, I really hate mopping and this mop has really made this chore not so bad. I will not say that I love mopping, but I don't mind it with this mop. So if y'all are in the market for a mop, I would definitely suggest looking into this one. Coming upstairs, I am just kind of clearing out the hallway where I had lots of different decor. Some are decor items that I'm going to be storing until a different season, and then others are actually some fall decor items that I got for my sisters. Moving into our playroom slash guest room, I am just picking up some of the toys. Kyle actually took the boys to go pick up his mom who was coming to stay with us for a few days. So I wanted to make sure I put the new clean sheets on the bed and also just got all the toys picked up so that she had a nice room to come into after her long flight. As you can see, I was filming this video all day long. It took me so long to film because I was still taking care of the kids and just doing lots of things, but I did finally get it done and it felt so good to just sit down on the couch after a long day and enjoy the clean house. I know it took a lot of time and effort, but it was so worth it. Next up was the boys room. Again, this is something that I would definitely have our kids in here helping me out with. But like I said, they were actually gone with Kyle at the moment. And so I just wanted to make sure that everything was nice and clean for when my mother-in-law got here. So I'm just really quickly making their bed since we had a busy morning and didn't get around to doing that earlier. The very last space in the house that I needed to clean was the boys' bathroom and it wasn't really too messy in here. I just needed to kind of tidy up a little bit and then wipe down the counters and the mirror and I also wanted to clean the toilet and just make sure everything was looking nice because like I said, my mother-in-law was coming and I just always like having our house nice and clean and welcoming when we have guests over.
driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's going to be all right, going to be all right. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's going to be all right, going to be all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you tons and tons of cleaning motivation. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I am so incredibly thankful for you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. My name is Amanda, and I am so excited to have you here. Today, we are going to be jumping right into getting this house clean and giving you guys some cleaning motivation as I clean up our house and just creating a clean and peaceful space for our family to enjoy living in. But before we get started, I would love if you would leave me a comment below. Just let me know what you're up to or what you have planned for later today. I always love connecting with you guys in the comments and just getting to know you guys a little bit better. But without further ado, let's get to cleaning. So the first thing we are doing is just unloading the dishwasher and I am having the boys help me out with this. Luke was actually at school during this time and it looks like Liam has not gotten ready for the day but he was home from school at this point and he had pajama day at school and he just ended up staying in his pajamas all day long. On this day, I was not doing a full cleanup in the kitchen right at first because I am just kind of tidying up my space so that I can start cooking lunch for myself and the boys. So this is just the apple cider Mrs. Myers spray. And I was actually curious if you guys have tried out the snowdrop, I believe is what it's called. A few of you have recommended it to me. You found it at your local targets. I don't think that Grove has it yet, but I actually found it at my local target and I really like the scent, but I cannot figure out for the life of me what it smells like. So if you have tried out that scent, let me know if you like it. And also if you have any idea how to explain what it smells like, let me know because Kyle and I were smelling it the other day and we cannot figure it out, but it smells really good inside your love inside your love we'll move on i no worries no doubts this is my time to make you This is one of my favorite go-to lunches and honestly one of my favorite dinners as well. It is just some salmon burgers. You can get these from pretty much any local grocery store, but I love getting mine from Costco. Next, I'm just making the world's easiest smoothie. I am just putting a banana, some ice cubes, some frozen mixed fruit, and then filling it up with water depending on how thick or thin I want it. And then I'm also going to be adding in some smoothie protein powder. This is of course optional. And if I did have greens on hand like spinach or kale, I would have added those in as well. But this is one of our favorite go-to smoothies.
so once we are done eating lunch, I just started getting right to the dishes and getting everything put into the dishwasher and anything else hand washed. As you saw, I do like to try to clean up as I cook. I don't always get to clean everything up while I'm cooking, but I usually do my best to kind of clean as I go and it just makes the whole process go so much quicker. Now that the dishes are done, I am just doing a very, very quick wipe down of the counter once again and just the stove as well, just to make sure that I got everything cleaned off from lunch. And then I'm also going over the chairs just with a really quick wipe down and making sure that I got anything off from breakfast and lunch because I usually don't wipe the chairs down after breakfast just because I know we will be eating on here in just a few hours. So I just wanted to make sure to get that wiped down while I had everything taken out. Next, I just wanted to clean up my table and I had a box of these plums that we actually got to pick when we were up at my mom's house in Montana. And then I also wanted to show you guys really quick the oils that I use. I get questions about the oils that I use all the time and so I wanted to mention that I use Simply Earth oils. This is not sponsored or anything. I actually used to use doTERRA oils and I really, really love them. However, they are a bit pricier and because they were getting so pricey, I was starting to feel that I would have to start getting a lower quality oil in order to afford them. And so once I found Simply Earth through one of my friends, I have just been hooked on their oils. I feel like they have such great quality but they are also very affordable. So I will have a link down below if you guys want to check them out, but you can also order them on Amazon as well. I just cannot say enough good things about this company and these oils. I'm just tidying things up and then also folding some clothes that I had recently washed. As you can imagine, my boys are just growing out of so many clothes. I feel like every two months, they are just needing a full set of new clothes. They are growing like crazy. And with that, it's becoming so expensive to have to buy new clothes all the time. And I just kind of hate buying new clothes when they are only gonna wear them for a short amount of time or when they are going to wear them and wear them out really quick. So I ended up getting almost all of these clothes from the thrift store and I am telling you, I saved so much money this way. So I really urge you to go check out your thrift store if your kids are needing new clothes. You do have to look a little bit harder when you go there, but it's so worth it when you can find some really good deals. Never ends, it's me and my friends These 
Moving upstairs, at this time you can see Luke has gotten home from school and usually I will have the boys clean this space up themselves because I do feel like they are pretty much responsible to do that since they are the ones creating the mess in here. But we did have cousins and family over and so I know that this mess was so much and so I feel like if I sent them in there to do this all on their own, they would just become so overwhelmed and I don't think that it would end up getting clean very well. But usually when I'm in there cleaning, they're also right alongside me just kind of helping out and I'm kind of there to help guide them and just kind of help encourage them to keep going. And that's just the way it works really well for us. Also, while we were cleaning up the toys, I noticed they had a ton of cars, way, way more than they need, and we really should have gotten rid of even more, but I just wanted to do a quick declutter. I will do like one or two big declutters in the playroom each year with them, and that definitely helps keep the toys a little bit more manageable, but once in a while when I notice one bin is kind of overflowing a little bit, I will just take a few minutes with the boys and have them kind of pick out their favorite items, and I also feel that that kind of makes it easier for them to let go of toys because they are doing it more regularly. So usually my kids don't have a big issue getting rid of most toys. There are some that are really special to them and of course I'll let them keep those ones. But for the most part, they are pretty easy to let things go. And I think it's because we declutter on somewhat of a regular basis. Moving back downstairs into my bedroom, I just needed to make my bed for the day. Yes, I had not gotten around to making my bed. I'm just trying to kind of figure out exactly how to manage working at home full time and also being a stay at home mom. I know that for us, September was so incredibly busy and during the summer, you kind of let go of a lot of routines. So we have been kind of struggling to get back into them and I feel like I kind of slowly am, but there's definitely some emphasis on slowly. So slowly but surely, we will be figuring this out. Because I was working earlier in the morning before I started filming and cleaning the house, I needed to get some laundry done. I just had not had the chance to put our load in for the day. And so I wanted to get that in now. And I'm also going to let you guys know because I get a lot of questions about this, that I am using my homemade laundry detergent. I do have a video on that if you have not watched that or tried it out. Do you care about me cause you're lonely? Cause I'm the only one around You say you are better safe than sorry Cause you're too scared to hit the ground Might seem dark but you know that I'm honest Might look broke but you know I can solve it Do you care about me cause you're lonely Cause I'm the only one around Before you do it all once 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you some serious cleaning motivation. If you guys cleaned along with me, let me know in the comments what all you got done during the time that you were watching this video. And if you guys are just about to get started, then leave a comment letting me know what you are going to be working on so that I can encourage you and build you up. I know I tell you guys all the time, but I am so thankful for this community and I'm so thankful for all of the love and support that you guys constantly give me. And I just want to always be giving that back to you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe to my Below. If you are not already, I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am sharing another After Dark Clean With Me. These are always some really highly requested videos on my channel. So I'm going to be sharing what I'm currently doing for my nighttime cleaning routine. I'm also going to be adding a few extra things in here that I don't typically do every night just because I'm also going to be including a few cleaning hacks that I really wanted to share with you guys tonight. And some of them are ones that I use all the time and others are just ones that are really, really neat that work really well that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys so I hope that you guys enjoy that and without further ado let's get into the cleaning So on this night, Kyle was working, and so for that reason, I was getting started a little bit later. I usually don't do my routine on the nights that Kyle's working until after the boys go to bed, but once the boys go to bed, I will get all of the dishes put into the dishwasher and all of the counters cleared off, any dinner put away, and I feel like I always start in my kitchen just because that is the area that really motivates me to keep going, and that's the area that I really notice the biggest difference in. Once our kitchen is clean, it just feels like the whole house is 10 times cleaner. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by I will always run our dishwasher at night. It is just so nice to wake up to a clean sink and no dirty dishes, so that's why I always run that at night and then our boys usually unload that first thing in the morning. Younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't wanna grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the so jumping right on into my first cleaning hack is to add vinegar straight into your dishwasher. You can do this with no dishes in there of course, but a lot of times I just don't have the chance to do that because I feel like we always have dirty dishes sitting in our dishwasher or clean dishes waiting to be emptied. So you can also do this while you have dishes in your dishwasher and just run them on a regular cycle, but just flip a bowl right over and add about a cup of white vinegar and then just do your normal wash cycle and this will help for two things. This will help if you have kind of like a funky smell in your dishwasher and it will also help especially if you have hard water issues. When we got older, we try to stay in touch. But we had to move on. Life ran away from us. If I could go back, be 17 again. Yeah, I would just to see all my friends. 
Running around the city acting crazy like we used to do. Ooh, ooh, do, 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 do. I wish I could turn back time. Oh, ooh, ooh. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Stealing smokes from your parents Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home Just to scare them We were free When we were 17 When we were 17. My next cleaning hack is something that I have shared so many times, but I feel like it's just worth sharing with you guys. And that is to add in any essential oil, just pick your favorite and add that right into your sink drain and it will make it smell so much better. Any kind of funk you have will disappear immediately. My third cleaning hack is an amazing way to clean your microwave and that is just to use a whole lemon. So first you are going to add about a cup of water to a microwave safe bowl and then just roll your lemon on your counter a few times just to help release those juices and then you can cut it and squeeze all the lemon juice out. I have found using a fork to help squeeze lemon juice out makes such a big difference and you get a lot more out of it. And then once you have your lemon juice, you can just place both halves of the lemon face down and then place that in your microwave and microwave for five minutes and you will just see how easy it is to just wipe everything off once it's done. This is a really great alternative as opposed to cleaning it with vinegar where it kind of leaves that vinegar smell which definitely smells like it's clean but it can be a little bit overpowering. So this is just another alternative to do that and it works just as well. So cleaning my microwave is one of the things that I do not do every single night, but I did want to share that hack with you guys, but it really didn't take me much extra time. So while my microwave is on, I am just wiping down my counters. I love to do this every single night. That way I wake up and it feels so clean in our kitchen and I know that we can get right to breakfast and I don't have to start in with wiping down counters and cleaning any food that was left off. So I feel like just taking the extra minute or two that it takes to wipe down your counters is so worth it to do at night. And I've also mentioned this in the past, but I feel like my nighttime cleaning routine really sets me up for the day and I think this benefits me even more than doing my morning cleaning routine. I just think the nighttime cleaning routine is so incredibly important.
By the time I was done wiping down all of our counters and our chairs, the microwave timer had gone off and now you can see all of the mess and just see how incredibly easy it is to just wipe it off. So I'm just going to be using one of my eat cloths that is just wet with water and then I literally just wipe everything off. I don't have to use any extra products in there. I don't have to sit there and scrub with a scrubber or anything. It just comes off so easy and it even smells good because I just cleaned it with lemon. You're a lonely sailor and your soul is made of wind and rain. And then once the kitchen and dining room was cleaned, I just moved into our living room. And that brings me to my fourth cleaning hack. And that is to get a designated toy bin that you just keep in your living room all the time or your family room or wherever your main living area is. In a perfect world, our kids would keep their toys in their bedroom or their playroom or wherever you keep them. But in real life, they constantly are bringing them out and just kind of spreading them around the house. And it's something that really makes the house look really cluttered and it's such a pain to clean up all the time and pick up those toys, especially when you just have to bring them back to the areas that they're supposed to be in anyway. So having a bin in your main living area will make such a big difference. It makes cleanup such a breeze, so quick and easy. And it also makes it really quick and easy to bring those toys back into the rooms that they're supposed to go in. So if you do not already have a toy bin in your living area, I strongly urge you to go ahead do so it will make such a big difference in your life you're a born survivor and you'll never find yourself in love you're wise enough i got troubles i got sins i'm my worst enemy but i still got a lot to give so i said hey the next thing that I will do pretty much every single night is clean our floors. Some nights I will sweep, but a lot of nights I just use my vacuum. And that will also bring me to my fifth cleaning hack, which is to add in some essential oils into the canister of your vacuum. You can do this in basically any vacuum that you have, whether it's cordless or a corded vacuum. But I'm sure that you guys have noticed that sometimes your vacuum has a bit of a funk. It just kind of has like that yucky smell sometimes. And so if you add just a few drops of essential oil right into the canister of your vacuum, as you vacuum your house, you will just start to notice the smell, but it will also last for quite a while in your vacuum. So you can pick your favorite scent and just get a little added benefit of vacuuming. Plus then you don't have to smell your vacuum kind of stinking. This is something that I have done for really long time and I actually don't think I've shared it in too many videos so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys today The next thing I'm able to usually do every night is to take care of any laundry that needs to get folded. But before I do that, I wanted to show you a bonus hack of something that I just recently discovered. They are these little cleaning tabs, but if your washer ever starts to get a funky smell and just kind of starts to smell up your clothes a little bit, these little washing tabs make such a big difference. Our clothes were starting to smell and I had tried using vinegar in our washer and nothing was really working. And I used these a few times and the smell came right out. It does not smell funky at all anymore. And these tabs are also really affordable and I just cannot recommend these enough to you guys a part of us will never leave oh wherever in the world you may be hiding in a while i know you're coming home. 
So like I said, the last thing that I really like to do is to make sure that all of my laundry is folded. Now, honestly, this does not happen every single night. There are definitely nights where I put this off and I don't end up doing it till the next day, but I do like to try and stay on top of it. And so, especially on the nights that Kyle's working, I'm a lot better about being more adamant with my nighttime cleaning routine and just getting everything done. And so on this night, we had towels obviously, and I just wanted to get those folded up and put those away. And that way I didn't have an extra thing to add to my to-do list in the morning. Right before we go to bed, I will usually just take all the pillows off our bed and just get it kind of ready for us to climb in. And that is the last thing that I do every night. I keep it very, very simple usually. Sometimes I'll do a few extra things and sometimes I will not get around to everything. But generally, this is what I like to do every single night just to kind of set me up for the next day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this after dark cleaning routine and a few of the extra hacks that I threw in there for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a fall deep clean with me and basically I'm just going to be going through my main living areas and focusing on doing a deep clean in those areas because as you guys know, the next few months are going to be so busy with the holidays and family coming over and so I don't think that I'm going to have too much time to devote to that so I wanted to make sure that I take some time and get it all looking really nice today. So usually I will start out in my kitchen, but today I really wanted to focus on cleaning out my couch. So I'm just pulling all of the cushions off and just vacuuming underneath them. And then I will go through and vacuum the couch.
So I was actually thinking I did not know how to clean these cushions, but as I'm editing this right now, I am seeing that these cushions actually do unzip, so I feel a little bit silly right now. I'm definitely going to be able to just put those in the washer and I will do those another day, but that makes me super excited. For way too long, this can't keep going on. With every lie, they keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh. Life has been pretty crazy in our house lately. I feel like we are kind of getting on track of things, but I'm definitely still not there yet. And so some things have definitely fallen to the wayside, like dusting has been a little bit of an issue lately for me. So I'm really wanting to take care of everything right now and just get everything really nice and dusted. I actually would have normally done a dry dusting first, but Noah had my duster recently and I cannot find it. So as soon as I find it, then I would just normally do a dry dusting and then I would actually go back through with an all-purpose cleaner and a cloth. Moving into the kitchen, this was after lunchtime, so I had made lunch for myself and the boys. So I just wanted to get everything put away and then I just started clearing up the countertops. And the next thing that was on my list was to start tackling the dishes. Stuck in the middle, what can I do? Yeah, 
So while I'm cleaning my dishes today, I'm going to be using the Bon Ami Powder Cleanser. I have used them for a couple years now and you guys were actually the ones who recommended them to me and I have loved using them, but I didn't realize how incredibly versatile they were. And so while I was cleaning during this video, I just wanted to test it out and see how much I could clean in my kitchen and my bathroom with this product and see how well it performed. But if you guys are unfamiliar with Bon Ami, they are a natural powder cleanser and it's totally safe to use around your kids and your pets which you guys know is something that I always am looking for. Anything I have in my house, I want to be pretty natural, and this one definitely fits that bill. And I was so impressed that just with my little sponge and the Bonami powder, I was able to get it looking so incredibly shiny. I don't think I've seen this pan look this shiny since it was new, so this is definitely going to be one of my go-tos. Next thing I wanted to clean was my stove and you guys know I like to clean this on a regular basis but I wanted to give it a really deep clean and just kind of make sure that I get all of those little areas that I don't normally mess with that much so I wanted to give a little extra focus to those areas on this day and just make sure that I'm getting it looking really nice because I'm definitely going to be using our stove a ton during the holidays and while we have family here I just want everything looking really nice and shiny and clean. Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Next up to clean is my oven, and I was so impressed. I was able to get my oven so clean. It really didn't take too much work to scrub everything off, and once I was done cleaning it, I feel like it just looks so shiny and almost as good as new.
I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out, but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be So while I'm doing a deep clean in my kitchen, I wanted to pay extra attention to all of my countertops and also my cabinets. And so instead of just wiping everything down and kind of moving things as I go, I wanted to pull everything off the countertops and just make sure I was able to get into all of the areas and just get every inch of the countertops totally cleaned off. And then also while I was doing that, I just used my all-purpose spray and started wiping down the cabinets and then just giving them a little extra attention than I normally do and making sure that I get all the spots taken off. I am obviously in the middle of cleaning, but I wanted to show you guys these flowers that just got delivered. So I'm filming this a little bit early um, because we have family coming in, but tomorrow is my birthday. I'm turning 30. My friend Lindsay from Lindsay's Life and Style, I've collabed with her before, so I'm sure you guys know who she is, but she sent these. How gorgeous, and there's so many that like have not even bloomed. Ugh. I'm seriously so thankful for my amazing friends, but I just wanted to show you guys this because it totally made my day and it's keeping me going right now because I have been in here busting my butt for a while and I'm tired, but we still have a lot more to go. We have a bit more to go. I got a lot of it done. I need to do floors. You can hear the boys playing in the other room, but we need to do floors. I need to finish wiping down everything and then we are headed up to the bathroom. We're gonna deep clean that baby. So let's get back to it.
Next, I'm just using my e-cloth on all of our stainless steel appliances. If you guys have watched my videos before, you guys know that I love my e-cloths for all of my appliances. I just use the general purpose cloth and then the glass and polishing cloth, and it is my favorite thing to get my appliances looking super shiny and streak-free. One of my favorite things about early fall is just getting all of the fresh produce that you get, like apples. And I actually picked up a box of peaches the other day from a little fruit stand. And so now we have peaches for days. I'm definitely going to be having to freeze these and just make some into smoothies, but we are enjoying them so much right now. They are so, so good. Wait a second. So settled, I miss with you. Still, it feels just like I'm waiting for something better. Wait a second. I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stare too much, cause you don't understand. You got me gone. You don't understand. Be a bit selfish when you wake too humble. Might be overzealous, getting you in trouble. Cause I'm a little bit steady, even a little bit mad. Might be a disaster, or just the best you've ever had. Or just the best you've ever had. Once I got done vacuuming, I just wanted to give the floor a nice mop. And so I am just using my E-Cloth Aqua Spray Mop. It is my favorite mop that I've ever had. It's so easy to use and it's just really hassle-free. So although mopping is still one of my least favorite chores, it's something that I don't really mind doing when I have this mop. Once the living room and kitchen was totally clean and the floors were done, I just wanted to pay extra attention to our banisters. This is something that I think is so often overlooked. And if you just take five minutes of your day and wipe them down, especially when they're white ones like ours, it's just those little touches like that that make the biggest difference and make your house feel so clean. So I paused filming for just a minute and I ran to our local Dollar Tree. As I was heading up the stairs to go finish cleaning the bathroom upstairs, I had the best idea and I just thought this would be like such a good cleaning hack if it works. Hopefully it works, we will see, but I couldn't wait for another video. I was like, this is perfect. I have to share this in this one if it works. I have not ever seen this before, so we shall see. I have to grab one of these. Also gonna pick up one of these little brushes and one of these guys and I think I am set.
So once I got back, I went upstairs into the boys' bathroom, and this is also the guest bathroom, which is why I wanted to make sure to pay extra close attention to this bathroom and just kind of get everything nice and clean. And I am so excited to share this hack with you guys. So the first thing that I did was just spray everything off and spray it on the walls and just kind of make everything a little bit wet. And then I'm using the Bonami powder throughout the bathtub and just sprinkling it on. And the nice thing about this is you don't really even have to let it sit. It just works really, really quickly. And then I am grabbing the broom that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and then I'm just scrubbing down all over the bathtub and cleaning it that way. And the reason that I actually came up with this hack was I was wearing my slippers as you guys probably saw and I really wanted to figure out a way to clean the bathtub without having to get in the bathtub and have to take those slippers off. And I just kind of hate scrubbing. And so I thought if I could use a broom, I wonder if that would work. And it worked so, so well. So if you guys have to clean your shower or your bath, I suggest you try this out. Just run to Dollar Tree and get a broom, grab the Bonami powder and then just sprinkle it on and go to town with a broom and you guys will be amazed at how easy this is and how well it works. After getting our mirror cleaned off with the E-Class, I just went around our cabinets and started wiping everything down that way as well. Like an airplane, far away. As soon as I drop the beat down low, everybody knock, knock, give me some more. Let me just improvise a couple lines, break it down, symbolize a couple times, and when the whole room starts to cheer, that'll be the reason why I'm here. They got me like oh 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 oh. They got me like oh 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 oh. They got me like oh 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 oh. They got me like oh 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 oh.
If you guys are still here, leave me a comment down below. I wanted to include a little bonus cleaning motivation for you guys today. As you guys know, this video is focusing really on a lot of deep cleaning. And so I didn't really feel like this part actually fit in well with the video, but a lot of you guys messaged me and let me know that you guys love seeing my kids clean because you actually have your kids watch with you and it kind of encourages them to clean as well. And so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of extra cleaning motivation today if you guys are still with me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you tons and tons of motivation to get your own space cleaned, especially deep cleaned for the holidays coming up. It feels so good to get everything really nice and cleaned at a deeper level. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be tackling this mess of a house. I usually don't like to let our house get this messy and just have this much to do on our to-do list. However, I was filming this right after last weekend when Kyle and I were working on the basement all weekend and then I also had several videos that I needed to edit. And so because of that, our house definitely suffered. This is actually lasting over several days because sometimes you just cannot do hours and hours of cleaning all in one day. But I wanted to film all this for you guys and you can just see our messy house get transformed into a nice and clean house once again. And I'm going to be taking you guys with me every step of the way.
after folding these clothes and putting them away for the last five hours, there is more clothes. Don't you worry, there is more laundry motivation coming your way because I just got so, so behind. You know that as soon as you're caught up on your laundry, there's still more. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past I'm feeling here tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Riding on the dizzying heights. I felt like nothing could stop. So I want to take a minute and show you guys how to fold a fitted sheet. I've mentioned in the past that I've finally learned how to do this and a lot of you guys have requested that I share this with you guys. So the first thing that you want to do is turn one of the corners inside out and stick it inside the other corner and you want to do this to both sides of the sheet. There's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight. And then once you have your corners matched up, the best way to do this is just to lay it flat and you get it in kind of a rectangle shape as you're seeing here. And then you're just going to flatten it out and kind of start to fold it like a regular sheet. And pretty quickly you will see it start to form a little square and that is how you fold a fitted sheet. It's really actually not that hard once you get the hang of it, but it can definitely seem a bit taunting. And I totally used to be one of those people that just rolled these up and put them out of sight because I didn't think I could figure this out, but I finally did and it makes me so happy to have figured this out. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And another little tip for storing your sheets when they are not in use is to fold everything up nicely and then just use one of the pillowcases to store all of them in. It keeps all of your sheet sets all in one place so they're not getting lost, you're not losing anything, and it also just helps them look really nice while you're storing them. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet.
Once I got our bed made, I just went around our room and started tidying up the floor. I'm sure that a lot of you guys will agree with me on this, but when I have something on my floor or I have something out of place, it just becomes so much easier to let other things get out of place. So I usually do try to stay on top of this, but lately I have been on the struggle bus with keeping our house clean. I just feel like life has been so busy and I'm really just having to kind of figure out how to make my routines better suit our family right now. But when I do get areas of our house clean, I really try to keep them clean for as long as I can because I know that as soon as I start to let it go, it will go downhill really, really quickly. I need to go and make dinner for the kids and just kind of spend some time with them. Kyle is working tonight and I will return to cleaning tomorrow because that's just real life. You can't always do like huge long cleans where it just takes hours in a day. Sometimes you have to break it up and that's what I have to do today. So I'm going to go mom and I will see you guys in just a few, but for me it'll be tomorrow. All right. So it is the next day, but I wanted to show you guys it snowed like overnight and i'm just not ready for snow it is pretty if you're inside with the heater on but if you're outside it is not fun so i'm going to show you guys that really quick and then we will get to cleaning the rest of the house and see how much i can get done today Moving into my bathroom, this area has been a disaster for quite a while, but in one of my last videos, I totally redid this bathroom. I redecorated in here and just made it really simple. I took a lot of things off of our countertop and also inside of all of our cabinets and her drawers, it was a mess and it was just so overly cluttered in there. So I did a massive declutter and a ton of new organization and it was also all done on a budget. So like I said, if you have missed that video, it is such a good one. You should definitely go check it out, the before and afters and just the whole process of it is really such a big change. I'm sure that you guys will love it. That's an understatement To walk alone I guess it's my prepayment Please give me a light Show me what I need 
Moving into the kitchen, I do usually like to start out in my kitchen, but that's just not how I did it today. Just because I knew that this was going to be such a huge task, I didn't really want to get stuck in here first. I wanted to get some of the smaller areas going and kind of get some momentum going, and then I knew that I would come in here and tackle this area. But we had just gone to Costco earlier this day, so I needed to get a bunch of things like that put away. And then I also just had various things kind of sitting out around the counter that needed to get put in its place. The next thing I wanted to do was get our fresh flowers cut up and put into a vase. If you guys have been part of this family for a while, you know that I love having fresh flowers in our kitchen. I usually get them from our local grocery store, and our local store has really great deals, so I can usually get a bundle of flowers for about $5, and it will just last me a few weeks. And these ones were so pretty. I'm just loving the bright yellow contrast with the deep red. I think it's going to be perfect for kind of transitioning from fall to winter. to take just a quick moment and let you guys know I am going to be having something super exciting happening in the next few weeks or so. Kyle and I have been kind of working out the logistics of it so I'm really excited to be sharing that with you guys in the next few weeks so stay tuned. Yes, I am
Now that it is officially November and Halloween and everything is behind us, I am breaking out the peppermint scent from Mrs. Myers. This is one of my very favorite scents ever and it always just reminds me of Christmas and winter time so every time I use this it makes me smile and I am so so excited for the new season. Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life Having dreams in a dream I wonder why Carried on with the things that made you lose your mind There's no way I can undo what I've done Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine, yes I ran out of time, there's no hope for me I fell down the bottom, so I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print of you If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know about this, but I was actually having some camera problems on this day. I was using a different camera than I usually do on this particular day, and I was having a lot of issues, but I didn't even realize that the camera was kind of malfunctioning while I was filming, so there are certain parts that kind of cut out here and there, and I did the best I could to kind of piece everything together, but that's why you didn't see me actually take out the garbage can because my camera randomly decided to turn off and stop recording and not even save the footage, and there are just a few little sections here and there like that, but I think I got it all figured out and it is all good now, but I just wanted to let you guys know. So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Of you my talk yeah. it's a time to move on but I cannot I shoot in the dark so I miss my talk yeah. it's a time to move on you know so I why won't you follow why won't you follow me home I know I can't make you mind you so long out of time there's no hope for me I fell down the bottom so I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real the last thing I needed to get done in our main living area is just vacuum the floors. I was not going to worry about mopping just because I had so much to get done and I'd already been cleaning for hours and so I didn't worry about mopping but I did want to make sure to get everything vacuumed up because as you can see in that close-up shot there was lots and lots of crumbs all over our floors. 
and I'm so happy that you guys always enjoy when I share those real moments because a lot of times the camera doesn't always pick that up so I kind of have to make it a point to get up close and just show you guys the realness of what it's really like. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but sorry there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven or go, cause I got you. I got you. Don't wanna show. Oh, oh. Show us off, but show my heart. All that I need. Trying to sugar cold, but I'm flying so high. I don't even know if I'm coming down. You wrap my boat when you hold me so tight. So this was the next day and this is the third and final day of getting our whole house cleaned up and filming for you guys. But the place I wanted to start out today was in my office and as you can see things had just kind of exploded in here. As you saw earlier we have already gotten some snow here and so the boys have broken out all of their stuff and I just needed to go through a lot of things and decide which things fit and which things didn't. And I'm really trying to make sure that we don't have a ton of excess in our house. It's really easy to get a lot of extra things, but then you just end up spending your time cleaning up those things and it's totally not worth it. So I also wanted to let you guys know I am thinking about doing a huge decluttering series probably in January. So if that's something that you'd be interested in me sharing, then let me know in the comments. And if there's enough interest, I will definitely film that because either way, I am totally doing it but if you guys are interested I can for sure share that with you guys I did want to share with you guys really quick, if you ever want to send me a letter, I do have postcards that I'm able to reply back to you guys, and I do have my P.O. Box address in the description box always, so you can always find it there. But y'all's letters just make me so happy whenever I get them, so keep them coming, and I will do my absolute best to get a postcard back out to you. Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault, just remember. Finally, we are moving upstairs 
and I went first into the boys room and I just had them come in and help me they have gotten really in the bad habit of not putting all of their dirty clothes in their dirty bin so they needed to take care of that and then while they were doing that I just started stripping their bedding off their beds to get all that put into the wash So I've mentioned this before, but when the boys' playroom gets really, really messy, I feel like it's just so beneficial to have me come in and spend five or ten minutes in here with them. And just kind of having my help and guidance makes the whole process go so much quicker. And it also just helps them feel not so overwhelmed during this process of cleaning when everything has been torn out. And I will say that most of the time when things are getting torn out, it is due to Noah because the older boys don't really do that anymore. But because of those reasons, I do like to come in here and help them sometimes when it gets really bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you tons and tons of cleaning motivation to tackle whatever messes you have. As you saw, our house was a complete disaster all around and we got all of it taken care of. So just know that if you are feeling overwhelmed with whatever you have to do in your own home, you can definitely get it done even if you have to split it up into a few days or just kind of break it up throughout the day. There were definitely times where I had to pause filming and stop and just be a mom and help the kids. So don't let yourself start to feel so overwhelmed. It is definitely doable and you have got this. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.